Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Jupiter Linked. O Prime Star Junka Isra, o Benjamin Netanyahu, o Lama Hamika Lebanon, Baka Lebanon ka Sekandu Ika Jingyot Kumha Gaza, Ladaki Nong Lebanon, Kidang Ailati Kileno Hexbola, Ban Sanchar Hal Lebanon, O Netanyahu, o Lama Ongi Kinong Lebanon, Baki Deben Yang Banom Ailati Kileno Hexbola, Ban Sanchar Hal Lebanon, Kanang Ban Lacha Katmak Vasherke Baka Isra, Kajing Maham Jung Netanyahu. Talong hadin ka jing hirtma ka ba he ba jong ki hex bola, ya ka nong ba hai fa jong ka Israel. Hadin ba ka Israel klayo ban penyapi u Hasan Nasar lah, u ba dai u he du jong ki hex bola, ka Israel klayo ru ban penyap hadu arnud, ki ba dai ki nong hir pateng jong u Hasan Nasar lah, ya ki ne ki jing yo penyap jong ka Israel, ya ki he jong ka hex bola, layat hu da u Prime Star Netanyahu, u Prime Star Netanyahu. Ula ong baka Israel ka donya ka hok banya daya lade, baka Israel kan jo. Tungin esok kendia teka jingkren jung prime star netanyahu, ling baka nika video. This is a message to the people of Lebanon. Do you remember when your country was called the pearl of the Middle East? I do. So what happened to Lebanon? A gang of tyrants and terrorists destroyed it. That's what happened. Lebanon was once known for its tolerance, for its beauty. Today, it's a place of chaos, a place of war. Israel withdrew from Lebanon 25 years ago, but the country that actually conquered Lebanon is not Israel, it's Iran. Iran, which finances and arms Hezbollah to serve Iran's interests at Lebanon's expense. Hezbollah has turned Lebanon into a stockpile of ammunition and weapons and a forward Iranian military base. Just one day after the October 7th massacre a year ago, Hezbollah joined the war against Israel. It launched an unprovoked attack on our cities and on our citizens. It has since fired over 8,000 missiles at Israel, killing civilians without distinctions, Jews, Christians, Muslims, and Druze. Israel has decided to put an end to this. We've decided to do whatever is necessary to return our people safely to their homes. Israel has a right to defend itself. Israel also has a right to win, and Israel will win. We've degraded Hezbollah's capabilities. We took out thousands of terrorists, including Nasrallah himself, and Nasrallah's replacement, and the replacement of his replacement. Today, Hezbollah is weaker than it's been for many, many years. Now you, the Lebanese people, you stand at a significant crossroads. It is your choice. You can now take back your country. You can return it to a path of peace and prosperity. If you don't, Hezbollah will continue to try to fight Israel from densely populated areas at your expense. It doesn't care if Lebanon is dragged into a wider war. Christians, Druze, Muslims, Sunnis, and Shiites, all of you are suffering because of Hezbollah's futile war against Israel. Today, I ask every mother and every father in Lebanon a simple question. Is it worth it? Because it doesn't have to be that way. I know you want a better future for your children. So I'm speaking to all of you today. There is a better way, a better way for your children, for your cities, for your villages, for your country. You deserve to restore Lebanon to its days of tranquility. You deserve a Lebanon that is different. One country, one flag, one people. Don't let these terrorists destroy your future any more than they've already done. Stand up and take your country back. You have an opportunity that hasn't existed in decades an opportunity to take care of the future of your children and grandchildren. You have an opportunity to save Lebanon before it falls into the abyss of a long war that will lead to destruction and suffering like we see in Gaza. It doesn't have to be that way. Each of you can take a step for your future, even a small step. You can make a difference. I say to you, the people of Lebanon, free your country from Hezbollah so that this war can end. Free your country from Hezbollah so that your country could prosper again, so that future generations of Lebanese and Israeli children will know neither war nor bloodshed, but will finally live together in peace.